Hello everyone, welcome back to Critics News on another edition. On another, already you know how we take the do. I'm as we take him at as soon as we take the talk. Um, <laughs> if you have not followed us on the social media handles, what are you waiting for? We are on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. So, and if you are watching this video as well, don't forget to give us a, a like or thumbs up, depending on which avenue that you are viewing um, this video from. So, let's go straight to the reason why we are here. In case you don't know me, I'm good man, the Kuriku Wun of African diaspora. Don't forget that anywhere you go to and they tell you that things are easier, let them know that it's just a scam. Okay, Otara? So, let's check it out. Now, um, you guys can remember that uh, the conclusion of the NSAS um, investigation has finished. And then the panel also came out and indicted the field president, the military, and the Sanwulu. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, I do. These people who, the panel members and the judges and all that, has been under heavy attack from the Nigerian government, government agencies have been attacking them. Why must you, you know, rule this case in favor of the poor masses? They have been attacking them now, and they are now crying out. So, we, they have declared Tinubu wanted, concerned citizens of the country. They declared Tinubu wanted, in, uh, and also um, uh, Samuolu, which is the governor of uh, Lagos State, they also declared him wanted for murder of uh, NSAS protesters. But all those ones are just uh, to catch fun. <laughs> and here too, the United States have um, issued a statement concerning this very, in, the, this very, uh, in regards to the um, NSAS ruling. Okay, they have issued a statement concerning that. Now, they said that uh, the United States welcomes, I want to show you something. You know. The United States welcomes the conclusion of the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry with the transmission of its final report. We look forward to the Lagos State government's response as part of a process that represents an important mechanism of accountability. And they should also um, compensate families of the bereaved. I was like, wow. <laughs> so America is seeing all this. So America knows that the Lagos State government gave the orders for the um, NSAS protesters to be shot at. But yet, they cannot sanction them. And if you touch the Lagos State governor now, he will tell you that it is an order from above. Who is above the governor? It is this one, the Tinubu, in conjunction with Obon Konao, which is a Buari, the failed Buari, which is this new Buari now that is rubbing cream, looking beautiful on daily basis. Those are the people who authorized the shooting of NSAS protesters. Now, they are now attacking the panel members who ruled um, that people were killed at Lake Togate last last. NSAS report, government agents attacking panel members. Adeboru raised this alarm. That's how Nigeria works. So America will not see it. Too. America will not sanction Buhari and the Sanwolu and the government uh, uh, agencies or agents that are worrying the panel uh, members who ruled um, on truth of the matter. Legal practitioner Ibun Olu Adeboruluwa, which is a son, senior advocate of Nigeria, has raised an alarm over what he described as vicious attacks on members of the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry on police brutality following the group's submission of its final report. Since the submission of the NSAS panel report to the governor of Lagos State on November 15, 2021, members of the panel have become the subject of vicious attacks by those suspected to be agents of government. Agents of Buari and Tinubu, they are the people who are disturbing these people who ruled on this NSAS. Ade Burua, a member of the panel, said in a statement he issued on Thursday, all manner of allegations has been heaped upon panel members, some of who have been called unprintable names. He restated that members of the panel were appointed on merit, debunking reports that they lobbied to get into the position. As a matter of fact, in my own case, His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, appealed to him to accept uh, his appointment which I saw as a call to national service, he added. This is the country that is going somewhere. People who were called by the governor now 
<laughs> they are the same government agents never expected him they never expected the man to speak truth concerning uh, uh, the outcome now adeboru adeboruwa described a report credited to an un unnamed council to the lagos state government that members of the panel took bribes as unfair ungodly and least expected of government and its lawyers according to him the panel is waiting for the lagos state government's white paper on the report submitted by the panel but described the mindless propaganda upon panel members while calling on the lagos state government to call its agents and lawyers to order so as not to provoke aggravated responses he said members of the panel deserve better treatment from the government the same government that was expecting them to cover up their mess is now uh, um, angry that they came out with the truth they came and told us that people were killed at lake ito gate people were killed at lake ito gate and the and they are still killing up till today it did not stop that answers did not change a thing it did not change a thing even when they wanted to do remembrance um, in october did they allow them should be they deployed all the forces from everywhere <laughs> mm. he said that he should not become a victim of unwarranted attacks just because i accepted to serve the government and the outcome of that assignment did not favor the expectations of the government adeguruwa further said surface uh, it surface it to mention that i worked with men and women of unblemished integrity and i am proud i am proud uh, to be associated with them all this is the uh, panel of judges those who ruled on the answers uh, uh, protest the answers uh, killings and police brutality these are the people who are being subjected to different attacks now look at this uh, your your brothers and the and these are the people who this one now wants to become the president of the country the one on the top which is um uh, uh, ahmed bola tinubu he wants to become 2023 presidency then this man here is uh, the governor the current governor of uh, lagos state which is a uh, Governor G uh, Babajide Sanwo Olu. These people, their hands are not clean. Their hands are not clean. Up to today, nobody has told us who gave the order for the shooting of the NSAS protesters. Nobody has come out to say, look at who gave the order. It will, the order came from Buari. But America is here telling you to uh, that they should visit the members. Why are they not punishing the members of the government who ordered the shooting on the innocent protesters why didn't america sanction them why didn't they ban them why don't they seize their passport why don't they give them any punishment yeah you are talking about to, to show accountability because they are in all in this all together they don't want the the success of the youth they don't want you to succeed this america oh, america in a good country forget it they they don't want you to succeed that is why when people all these government officials will be under heavy sanction from america before you know it now you will see uh, uh, abuba kamalami in uh, america telling you that uh, he never knew the person who invaded uh, 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 justice or delis house you have never met this man to god knows i say oh you have never met him but you are in america where there is light where there is road where there is school your children are schooling there but in your own country which i know that you are not part of because you you can't you can't have money and would want to build a house and you build a hut it's not possible i've never seen such before if you have money even uh, um, is it not a solomon in the bible he built uh, a, is it the house of god and his own house i think with gold and he had concubines those things were what we use the measuring riches those days uh -huh. but now in this nigeria you leave your country and you're building railway to niger to punish the citizens let them suffer because devil is using the government of nigeria even devil so is it only in nigeria that the devil lives i be in africa that the devil lives you know you know devil know they travel 
from Nigeria. So if America knows what is good, let them sanction all the people who are involved. You see, Babaji de Sanwolu, the governor of Lagos State, one. Uh, Bulamed, two Nubu, that one, two. Muhammad Humbuari, which is the uh, uh, overall of Gakpata Kata. Uh, trade the, the new one. No, I'm not talking about arresting the dead one. Let him, uh, I believe, now only Bungo remain now. Then, number four, are these government agencies, Malamio, Femi Adeshino, Lai Lai Muhammad, who went to CNN to lie? Who lied against CNN? A who telling America to their face that they cannot do anything. And truly, America cannot do anything. Because, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, they have lost their respect. They are now learning a lesson. They hear they smell people. I go, cannot, can they write? Say, if we hear America now, who, who, who cares? Who gives a damn? America, we don't feel finished. I beg, we'll go another news.